Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Um, so this is only going to be a, a short one. We're currently on our way, hopefully, to find a poppy field. Um, the last video, um, you probably remembered the last image I put up, which was the few poppies in the front. Oh, this is a bit of a hill. Looking into the distance, we can see another poppy field. Well, a proper poppy field. So that's what we've come out this week to try and find. Now I've done a bit of research um, and spoke to somebody who's taken a photo from this location. He's given us the directions. Oh, and so far, so good. Oh, glad when I'm at this hill though. Okay, so when I spoke to you a minute ago, we were actually over on that hill over there, um, going up the byway on the other side of the village. And we got so far and realized actually we're on the wrong side. So we've asked about, very friendly people in the village have pointed us in the right direction. So we've come up, um, what's it called? White Horse, uh -oh. uh, White Horse Trail, which is basically the Ridgeway. Um, and hopefully, when we get up to the brow of the hill up here, we should get a bit more luck. So, uh, it's a bit blowy, but I think, had it been a still day, it'd be too bloody hot. So, uh, I think I can actually see it already. So, uh, fingers crossed, we're in the right place now. So I'll speak to you when we get up there. you close and maybe hold your hand a little while somehow i know you're gonna be the girl that i'll end up calling my own we ride around in style sleeves rolled up glasses on and then you make that smile and my heart starts racing when i'm with you So we're making our way up now to the top of the field uh, where hopefully I should be able to set up some nice compositions with, uh, with Silbury Hill, which is there somewhere over my shoulder. Uh, and this is all stemmed from a photograph that I saw on Instagram um, last week. 
um, following a photo that I took from up on the other side of Fightfield there. So uh, I'm really quite excited about what I can probably come out with. Um, skies are quite nice. Um, so uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, so I think we've definitely found the field. It's, a, it's actually quite a shame um, that it's so windy. They're really moving quite quickly. So I think what I'm probably gonna have to do is take a shot with a high, uh, with a high shutter speed first, and then take a shot with a slower shutter speed and blend the two together um, because this is stunning, absolutely stunning, it's beautiful. Definitely the one I could see from the other side up in Fifield, definitely. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. That's quite a find, I think you'll agree. So we were up by, uh, let me think, let me see where we are. We were up by those vans. There's some vans in the background over there. And we were up over there last week, so I could see this. And I actually took a photo, like I said, at the beginning of the film, beginning of the video, um, that I could actually see this in the distance. So, uh, so yeah, more than happy. And I've also got, obviously, Silbury Hill in the background there to uh, to get to get a marker. It looks like somebody's already been into them. Uh, well they have because I've seen the photos from them so uh, we're going to make use of their tracks rather than trampling on them again. I wouldn't want to trample on them. Um, so we're going to make use of their tracks. See if I can't get a shot on my own. Okay so just uh, stopped there and took a few shots but the problem I got is that it's quite blowy up here. Like I said um, I think taking two shots um, and blend them together isn't going to give me the same effect isn't going to give me the effect that I want so I think um, I think what I'm going to have to do is try and maybe blur out the background a little bit and maybe sort of give an indication of what's in the distance um, so I'm going to I bought the 16 to 35 and the 24 to 70 I think in hindsight I probably should have bought the 100 to 400 because then I could have really compressed the background together um, but uh, not this time they're getting further and further up the hill and they're getting more and more and more vibrant so uh, so yeah quite a find at least we know where to come next year eh? Okay, so we've stopped on this on this brow on this track part way up um, and as you look over the field you've got um, like almost curves in the poppies um, and it almost gives you quite a nice leading line I'm going to take a couple from here because uh, I'm trying to incorporate Silbury Hill uh, in the shot so I'm gonna take a couple from here and then we're going to go a bit further up and I think the lines in the field should be uh, more pleasing to the, the composition. I'm just waiting for the sun to come back out because the one thing this photograph really needs is light. And at the moment I've just got a really shaded foreground. Um, but it seems to be coming back out now so just getting ready just to take the shot again. And uh, I'm at... ISO 400 because I want a fast shot because of the wind. No, I'm not. I'm at ISO. My ISO 200 because I want a fast shot speed for the wind. Uh, F9, um, and that's one four hundredth of a second. And that's only due to the wind. I'd like to slow it right down if I could. That's given me quite a nice foreground of poppies looking out over the fields in the distance 
Silbury Hill to my left, the Ridgeway to my right. Um, yeah, I think that's a lovely shot. So uh, I'll stick that one up, let me know what you think in the comments and we're going to make our way on at the track. See you on there. You say take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Okay, so I found quite a nice composition here. We've moved further up the lane. Um, and the sun's in and out at the moment of the clouds, as you can probably tell on the camera. Um, so I've got the 24 to 70 on. I'm at, uh, I'm at 70 mil. I thought it was at 70 mil. So I want to try and compress that background in a little bit with Silbury Hill. I'm actually bracketing um, to give me a slightly faster shutter speed and to get all the detail that I need in the sky and the ground at the same time. So. Um, I've got a polarizer on um, just to take that glare off. It's uh, not doing too bad a job. And that's giving me, uh, I'm at F10 ISO 200 at 1 60th of a second. And that's bracketing shots. Uh, two stops below and two stops over. Uh, giving me three images. So, uh, Hopefully, all being well, they should come out quite nice. The sun does keep going in and out. I think uh, I'll make a note of this place for next year and see if we can't get here for, for a sunset because I think it would be a blinding place for a sunset because the sun actually sets just to the left of Silbury Hill. But it's... Um, as far as images go, I think they've gone over. I think we're a little bit late. I think we should have come maybe two weeks ago. But I think they've gone over a little bit. Um, but still, got some nice images there at the end. I think. So, I'm going to keep the camera out and uh, see if I can get a few more on the way back down. And uh, I'll speak to you when we get back to the car. Beauty lives in Okay, so quite a find. We're on our way back to the car now. Um, glad we managed to actually find the field in the end. Uh, I've got some quite nice images. Maybe you can let me know down in the comments what you think. Um, but definitely one to make a note of and uh, definitely one to come back to next year uh, when they're in full bloom. So uh, if you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, give it a share and uh, Leave any comments below and I'll see you on the next one very soon. Bye for now.